Uh, we're not going to talk about my hair tonight. No matter how much it arouses you, sir. And we're not going to discuss it. Sorry. I didn't mean to set you off. Nice. You from Boston, man? Nice. I used to live in Framingham. Yeah, I was born on the Cape. Where, Provincetown? <laughs> That's, yeah, the gay town. You guys wouldn't get that. It was just for us. It's like gayer than Key West there. That was just for you. It was pretty gay. Boom. You see? Yeah, he likes that. Thanks for coming out, you guys. Thank God the holidays are over. Yeah. Holidays are rough for me, man, since my girlfriend left me. Yeah. It was like eight years ago. <laughs> and rough. The only thing I miss about her, she was on the pill. Prozac. Prozac. He was crazy like a fox. A crazy bipolar fox. <laughs> yeah. Bipolar girls are great, man. You get more girlfriend for your buck. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah, it kind of turned really abusive towards the end, and I was kind of, but still, I was sorry to see it end. Uh, because I was the abuser. Yeah. Uh, you guys aren't into domestic violence? Oh. oh. I saw that coming. You're backing me up, Bean Town. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, I'll show those chicks. <laughs> I actually had my first date in years, and I met this beautiful girl, and uh, I took her to a drive-in movie down on McKellips there. But uh, it was nice. Uh, we took separate cars. Yeah. <laughs> I really think we connected. So, it was halfway through the movie, I rear-ended her. And then she backed into me. What a freak. <laughs> so I have a degree in political science, you guys, and I was raised Roman Catholic, but I don't do jokes about politics or religion. Uh, because I've never voted or been molested. <laughs> it's half true. Half true. Uh, I am a very spiritual person, and I uh, definitely believe in God, and I believe that God hears our prayers, but I don't believe that God listens to our prayers. But that proves that he's a man. Thank you. Yeah, I just moved into a new place, and you have to pay for garbage service, and I refuse to do it. So I just take my garbage, and I give it to my neighbor, because he's a hoarder. Yeah. I don't want to make light of the you know, hoarding disorder. If any of you guys have friends or family that are hoarders, please let me know and I will burn their freaking houses down. <laughs> They're animals. God, I hate, I hate hoarders. <laughs> so yeah, so I'd never had a job for more than a year. And uh, yeah, a year doesn't sound like a long time, but it is if I work for you. <laughs> yeah. You ever notice the only people that like going to work are the people that are like some kind of like supervisor that are like, they're like content to get chewed out by the owner as long as they can dump their bucket on their underlings. Yeah. I hate that. That's yeah, unbelievable. But let me tell you something. If you spend your whole day just going around screaming at people, you're a freaking retard farmer. Or you would say, retard farmer. <laughs> Freaking retard. Boom. What? Red Sox. <laughs>